Have you ever wondered how popular certain characters from visual novels and eroge from the Japanese community are? There are several places where you can see Japanese developers running their own polls through various websites with the results saved somewhere. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting a handful of places and series that have had character popularity polls online. The first site I'm going to be talking about is Getchu. Getchu actually also functions as a digital store to buy Japanese eroge. Every year, Getchu holds popularity polls for the best visual novels and characters that got released in a specific year in Japan. By going to the right page, you can find the top 10 most popular characters for that year. For example, in 2022, Hiyori from Hamidashi Creative Totsu won first place, but results are tracked all the way back to 2009 where Rain from Balder Sky won. By editing the URL, all you have to do is change the year number and you'll be taken to the results for that year. So for example, if I change the year in the URL to 2017, you'll get to see that Rhea from Kinkoi won that year. I would show more of these polls in detail, but many of them are filled with NSFW 18 plus CGs, so you'll just have to navigate your way to this site yourself. Usually the poll results get posted several months after the year ends. The only limitation of these polls is that the characters have to be from visual novels that are actually on sale on Getchu. Many times bigger companies like to wait for anniversaries to run online popularity polls. Key made a 15th anniversary poll where users could vote for their favorite key characters from their various visual novels like Canon, Air, Rewrite, etc. Kiyosuke Natsume from Little Busters won. Keep in mind this poll was done very shortly after the original Summer Pockets visual novel released in Japan. So there's some recency bias for Summer Pockets characters and no characters from visual novels like Reflection Blue or Lunaria included. Another example of a long-running company doing a poll of all their characters is Favorite, where Yume Ototsu from Hoshizora no Memoria won. It's unfortunate that other favorite visual novels aren't translated yet because I'm sure stuff like Ira Toridori no Sekai and Sakura Moyu would be decently popular among the Western fanbase. When a certain visual novel series gets popular enough, some companies tend to run anniversary polls just for that specific series. An example of that is the Grisaya series by Frontwing, where they had separate polls for each story in the series. For the original Grisaya trilogy poll, Kazuki won. For the Grisaya Phantom Trigger poll, Murasaki won and for the Kronos Rebellion poll, Sedika won. What is notable is that Kronos Rebellion started off as a mobile RPG that closed in August 2021, but will be getting just its story portions ported to a PC visual novel in 2023. A new chapter not in the RPG will be in this new visual novel, so their poll could influence which Kronos Rebellion characters get the most love in it. Another example is Alcana's 6th anniversary, where the users could vote for their first and second favorite character. Misaki Tobasawa won the first favorite character poll, while Saki Inui won the second favorite character poll. And then there's the Majikoi series, where Minatosoft tends to run polls during various visual novel anniversaries. Their latest poll, Majikoi S's 10th anniversary, had Margaret Eberbach win, and well, she tends to win all the Majikoi polls these days. Some companies just run polls shortly after their visual novel releases. I've noticed the goal for these seems to be what merchandise to prioritize, or even better, which characters to prioritize to make a fan disc visual novel route for. A perfect example of this is Pull Top, starting with If My Hearted Wings or Konosora. While Kotori Havane won the Konosora poll, Hotaru Himegi and Kanako Shigure were the most popular characters who did not have a route in the original. And lo and behold, in Flight Diary, they were the first two to get a new route. Poltop did a similar thing with Miyazora or A Sky Full of Stars. While Saya Amanogawa won by a landslide, Honoka Yoshioka and Miharu Saotome beat every other character, including characters that had a route in the original. Lo and behold, they got their Fine Days routes first, with Hinami Yamada, who basically tied with Hikari, got a short DLC route not too long after. There's also cases where companies run popularity polls so they can figure out which scaled figures they want to make. For example, Yuzusoft ran a Senren Banka poll where Mako Hitachi won by a decent amount. Lo and behold, we now have a multi-hundred dollar scaled figure of Mako. Similarly, they did a Riddle Joker poll where Nanami Arihara won by quite a lot. Once again, another multi-hundred dollar scaled figure. It's worth noting that visual novels that don't have an anime adaptation very rarely get scaled figures, so companies like Yuzusoft have to be confident in the characters they're making figures of. Marshmallow All the Way Home is an interesting case where the poll results didn't really lead to anything extra post-release. Despite the fact that Marmalade's other popularity polls led to short fan disc routes for their top-placing heroines, 
Marshmallow had all the factors for a fan disc or something for Ushio Asaka, who won by the landslide in Marshmallow's poll, they chose not to make one for her for some reason. Finally, Tsukihime has an interesting case since it's had two separate visual novels released, the original back in the early 2000s, and the first half of the remake A Piece of Blue Glass Moon in 2021. Both had their own polls by type Moon, and it's interesting to see how the results differ. Though keep in mind, the remake routes for Akiha, Hisui, Kohaku, and Satsuki weren't out yet as of the right poll. And that about wraps up this video. There's a whole bunch of other polls I could have mentioned, but just wanted to share a baseline of types of visual novel character popularity polls we've had online, outside of Getsu, which you can follow every year. With most other visual novel companies, you'll likely just have to follow your favorite visual novel developers on Twitter to see when new popularity polls are ran if any. Sadly, I won't be able to directly link to about half of these polls since the results are posted on NSFW sites, which YouTube doesn't like. But if you have any questions or feedback about the polls I showed, or if there are any notable polls I didn't mention, feel free to leave a comment below.